I think it says, I would like to know if I will heal and up myself in 2000 and, and it's already moving in 2019. And I think it says that you reach a higher vibration and a state of fearlessness. Well, my dear, you are already there. Your ultimate self is fearless. Your ultimate self is divine. So it's not a matter of becoming that. You are already that. It's a process of aligning to the truth of that. Now, we align to the truth of that by having the kind of life that affirms it for us. Consciously arranging, designing our life that transmits the message of who it is that we are all the time, to the best of our ability. What I recommend is something called the bliss discipline. The bliss discipline is simply identifying at least 10 things that you got really jazzed up about and really excited about that you really love to do, puts a smile on your face, a little kick or a little hop in your step. Know what those things are and then do those things more or have those things around you so that there will be endless demonstrations to you of what love is, what high vibration is, what joy feels like. This aligns you back to who it is that you truly are. When we are, when we really have our eyes open, Spirit was just talking about open your eyes and lift them up. This is not an actual direction thing. Open your eyes and look around is what Spirit is saying. Allow life to demonstrate to you how magical it actually is because you are magical. So to the answer to your question, are you going to up level? Are you going to be high vibration? Are you going to be fearless? You are those things already. You are. It's just wrapped up in different energy. It's a matter of removing the energy that's not in alignment with what you are. What are those things? What are those things? That's the question. What are the things that act as obstacles that keep you from being, meaning vibrating, at the rate of who it is that you actually are, powerful, fearless. I'm out here creating because creators go and create. <laughs> so what are the things in your life that keep you from doing that? Identify them and remove them or mitigate them, meaning figure out how to turn them down a little bit and then fill the life with all the other things that align to who it is that you are. Short answer is yes. Short answer is yes. 2019, absolutely. Of course, timelines being fluid, meaning you can go out tomorrow, make some crazy decision for your whole life, and you'll throw all the jigsaw puzzles up in the air, and we'll see where they land. Things can change, but absolutely, you having the desire for that is an indication that it's already opening to you. The awareness of who it is that you are is already opening to you. All you have to do is slide into it, my dear. Step into it. You are already that. Feel that? I know you feel that because I feel that. And when I'm getting the overall stuff, the, the electricity and the goosebumps, that means you're getting that. People like to ask for proof. Well, yeah, Crystal, how, how do I know I'm the I am? How does physics show me that? Well, I don't care. Did you feel it? Did your soul and your spirit bear witness in some way that caused your physical body to have a reaction? Did it feel true to you? Then it's true. That's all you need to know. And it is true. And it's not just true for you. It's true for me. It's true for all of us. We are all already that. The rest is just noise. Turn down the dials. Literally, turn down the dials on the TV. Turn, on the, turn down the dials on all the actual noise. And then turn down the dials on the relationships. Turn down the dials on the clutter in your house. Turn down the dials on the crap food that you're putting in your body. Turn down the dials on the vices that you have. Turn down the dials on the stuff you say to yourself about yourself that isn't edifying. Turn down all the dials until all that remains is the message from your spirit of who you are. You're all right.